kickoff 2023. Joe Turney, Cart Republic, pick the page back up from last year. They win round one here in Miami. Green, green, green. Who is that, the leader? Is that Norberg? Norberg? I don't know how Ryan Norberg has found himself to the lead. Up front, I think we got a challenge coming for the lead, though. Joe Turney looking inside. New leader. And it's a repeat of yesterday as he does it on Norberg for the top spot. Turney made a mistake in turn 12. He knows Norberg's is looking. Here he comes. Norberg, the new leader. Turney locks on. He wants to go back to the front. Turney to the inside. Book it. He takes it back. Norbert goes over under. He'll take the position. Here's a pass further back. That's contact oh, there. Was that where Gatto Gatto went three wide to the bottom on Turney, and he sandwiched Turney into Ryan Norberg. Hit the two. They'll get it up front. He does not. And Padilla wins. Donovan Padilla will win here in Homestead. And we are green, green, green. Here comes Ryan Norberg in the national number one to the lead into turn number one, and he'll take it away. Whoa. Here comes Turney, moved to the inside of turn number eight. Book it, Joe Turney with a nice advantage over Ryan Norberg, and indeed he'll complete the mission. Nice job on the tap this weekend. Joe Turney winning the race here today and the championship in the Supercarts USA Winter Series. Ryan Norberg gave it all. Coming home second with the Chad Dockett Racing Cart Republic tap driver scoring the win. It's always tough, especially when Joe's doing what he's doing where he's just ahead it's just it's agonizing because you're just driving and looking at the same thing every single lap and it's it's <laughs> it really is tough ryan norberg was hunting down joe turney at the end of the excuse the winner series it's a repeat deja vu moment for the national number one plate holder trying to hunt down turney and hopefully minimize mistakes i wonder if he's feeling like norberg's a little bit quicker than him as they make contact oh, that... here comes harley cable three wide for the lead well to the outside he kind of hung the left side on that as turney goes back by the inside of cable coming through turn number 12. and the winner today an X30 senior in Orlando, Joe Turney. Once again, for Ryan Norberg, if he takes a look over his shoulder and sees Joe Turney, I mean, I got to imagine that the, the mental space there for Norberg, probably not as strong. This is a guy who has robbed him of his usual come from behind victories that we're so used to seeing, where Norberg is able to wait and really just kind of dial his pace up in the final half of the race. And to the inside for the lead. Joe Turney is through, but Norberg with an over under pulls alongside and he's almost clear. Turney again inside this time. He'll stop it right on the apex and takes the lead fully. Does he send it here one of these times? Just throw it at the bottom. Oh, there was dirt on the racetrack. Dirt on the racetrack as they came onto the front stretch. You saw Norberg weaving. Joe Turney, it is another win on the season. He is victorious in Utah. Hey, Luke, going to get the, the monkey up your back there, the first win of the season. Just couldn't quite get it up. Thanks for reminding me. Appreciate it. Here we go. This is the last race of the weekend. This is what it all builds up to. Coming into the weekend, Ryan Norberg has been so fast. On Thursday and Friday, he's taken everyone aback. And even in yesterday's main, he still looked like he might have been the fastest car. And this would be the day that he gets that elusive first win of 2023. And yesterday, it was another Joe Turney win. Top 10 finish for Joe Turney is a championship finish. All he's got to do is finish in the top 10 regardless of what uh, Ryan Norberg does. Ryan is right there, and these are the two guys. We have seen them duel multiple times, countless times, more than any other two drivers for an X30 Pro win in 2023, Rob. And now, for the lead, Ryan Norberg to the inside of the cell tower. Now, Turney being able to kind of ride in the wake of Ryan, not have to go in as deep to the corners. He's now going to go to the lead. Turney is so hard to pass because he just doesn't make mistakes. you got to pass Joe whenever you can. You cannot wait. You do not get many opportunities to get around the number one ranked driver in the world by the FIA right now, Joe Turney. Ryan Norberg has gotten around Joe Turney. Three laps to go. Ryan Norberg, you know that you have lost to this guy all year long. What can you imagine is the pressure, is the tension building inside the helmet of the 301. Here comes Turney, back to the inside, green corner. This is the closest mono -e mono battle they have had all year, and it's only fitting it happens on the final race of the season. White flag, Joe Turney by a car length. Side by side into turn number three, Turney on the inside, and if Norberg on the outside, not setting up for the overrun, but tries to get enough run, he does. They're going to be side by side coming up through turn number four to five. Norberg's going to throw it down the bottom. He'll take the lead over in turn number five. Do we see an over-under coming again through turn number six? Does he get it done? Turney can't quite get it. 
Norberg's going to cover it off. Side by side, he'll low line it down in for sure. A little bit of contact there. Outside, inside, again coming through. Is he setting up for the over under? He's going to try it. Norbert couldn't get it done. He's back through. Turney back through for the lead. He does him again. Turney with the crossover. Gets one back on Norberg in the horseshoe. Norberg is too far back. Final few turns. Joe Turney is going to walk it off with a sweep of the weekend. It's win number seven. It's regular championship number one. Joe Turney wins on Sunday. It's hard. I mean, it's a tough one. It's a tough loss, you know, because you're, you're so close and you're leading on the last lap. It's always tough. But, yeah, it was a great race. Really respectful. I mean, you know, we fought all the way to the end. That's how racing should be right there. So, no, it was a great race. How cool is that to have the, arguably the two best carters in this country right now racing against each other, racing for a championship, and to race that clean? I mean, I think that's that shouldn't be understated. The two of you put on a show that, that I think every carter in this paddock should be uh, should be proud of. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, we're both working hard. It's both what we do for a living, so uh, it's tough. We're, we're working, uh, we're working day and night to, to win these races. So uh, credit to him, and uh, I think the rest of the year should be good as well. Joe Turney, looking forward to continuing on this absolute rampage. We've got a red flag after 12 laps. This is just to make sure, essentially, that uh, Joe Turney is okay after the collision that saw him and Gabriel Gomez out of the World Championship. we got Dalton Haynes starting there. He's Joe Turney's replacement. I'm sure Joe's watching at home. I'm sure everybody in Scusa in the US karting team wishes Joe a speedy recovery. We know he's on the mend and I know Dalton Haynes is key to do very well on behalf of Joe here. Ryan Norberg in the number two plate. The winless streak is finally over. Ryan Norberg is going back to victory lane for the first time in a year and three months he wins at Homestead. It feels great. I mean obviously it's it's been a long time coming so I'm super happy with it but there's still one guy that needs to come back and I gotta get a win against him so